the same hole. Just trying to set up my last tip up. And this one had already popped again. Oh, there she goes. I'm gonna get into the tree. Oh, oh, I thought it'd go. It's not in the tree. Welcome back, everybody. So today we are out fishing a new lake for ice fishing season this year. Um, and we're trying the electronic or automatic fishing lure again. Um, we're going to set it up in a high probability spot. We are right next to a bit of a spillway. Um, so there's a little bit of flowing current here, and there's usually pretty good activity as far as pike and bass go. Um, obviously, because there is a little bit of flowing water, you do have to exercise even more caution than what you normally do, but I am pretty familiar with this lake, so. All right, let's see if she turns on. Oh, instantly, so that's good. All right, so let's get her down there. Um, we'll probably check it in about an hour-ish to see if she's still swimming. Just to see kind of what how long like what kind of longevity the batteries actually do have. So we'll go ahead and drop her down. About four feet. Five feet. She's swimming. See what happens. We're locked. We'll put a bell on. We're a little bit further away from our tip-ups today, so it'll be a little bit easier for us to see. It does go up. There we go. First one set. We'll poke around and see if we can't find some um, some other fish and see what happens. Got him. Wow. The lightest little bite. Little gill. We've bounced around a couple of different spots. And found fish, but they are so insanely finicky. It's not a bad gill. Not quite an eater. Probably a little bit over six. But um, they're so incredibly finicky, I had to go back to the technique that I love for finicky fish. is just an incredibly light jig head. Um, I don't use tungsten. It's lead. Um, and it falls. I, I don't even know if it's a 64th ounce. It, it may be. But it falls so incredibly slow, it does get these really finicky fish to bite. So we finally got one. I've seen tons in the area, but chasing them down and trying to hole hop, as soon as you put a uh, hole down or start walking towards a hole, they all just scatter. So it's pretty difficult conditions today. But there are fish around, and hopefully that's the start of something. But... We haven't seen any real big fish, so hoping that changes also, but got it. Smaller. Oh, there's a few more down there. Oh my. Look at how many parasites he has on him. Holy cow. He's like polka dotted. That was something. I'll take a picture of him. There's another one down there. See if we can't get back to back real quick. We got a flag. Uh. Oh, she's spinning. She is spinning. Oh, Jesus. That doesn't... Oh, no, this isn't... It might be in a tree. Oh, it's definitely in a tree. Get out. Oh, I think I got it out. Yep. Feels heavy. Is it a bass or is it a pike? It looked wide. It might have been a bass. Nope. 
pike. Not a awful one. Calm down. Calm down. Get you unhooked and let you back. Just give me a second. There we go. Little guy. Hooked right in the roof. Oh. Right in the roof of the mouth if it let me at it. Open up. Open up. Open up. I barely have him hooked, but he won't. I'll let you keep the minnow. Just give me back my hook. Don't clamp down. There you go. Little guy. We'll have to check the automatic fisherman to see if it's dead. Because we just moved spots a little bit and pretty quickly had a bite. So go ahead and let him go. There she goes. Get it set up. We'll have to check to see if there's any fray to that line. But check it out and... End up setting up another one and possibly setting up a an alive minnow if that uh, automatic fish or automatic lure ended up dying. But our automatic fisherman is dead. It looks like we got a bunch of weeds or something on the propeller. So we will go ahead and put on. A live minnow and see if we can't end up catching one we'll probably actually leave the leader on just so we don't have to worry yeah we've got another tip off with a with the fluorocarbon leader so we'll throw that guy on and see if we can't catch one out of this hole then and, and the search to catch one on this still continues little guy really pale compared to the last one. Really pale. It's got a really nice blue on him though. Little guy. Seems to be the theme of the day. Haven't had any big ones. Oh, there he goes. Haven't had any big ones. Um, and have had the little pike, but... That is about it. Got another chip up. It went up. Same spot. Not spinning. Let's give her a second. Might have dropped it. Oh, no. Still going. There he goes. Feels, oh. Feels bigger than the last one. Oh no. Is it stuck in a tree too? There must be like a tree right underneath there. Get out. Oh, shoot. Both those fish headed right towards the tree, which. Oh, oh, gotta go. I think. Still feels like it's kind of on there. Got it off one branch. Oh, still on there. Oh, nice. It's out. How big are you? A bass or a pike? Pike. A little bit bigger. A little bit bigger. Right in the corner. I'll have to probably. No, no, I don't think it. Oh, barely hooked. It's almost pinned in there. It's not really. 
It's like skin hooked, but it's pinned against the side of his jaw. A little bit better of one. Probably upper 20s. I don't quite think quite 30, but go ahead and let him go. Got a big head on him. Uh, there we go. That's two in the same spot. They must like that tree. We'll probably keep this same hole just because we've gotten lucky and gotten two out of the tree. And I did think I broke a branch on that one, so. Keep on going. This looks kind of like a hot spot. I might have to move my other tip up a little bit closer on over here, seeing how we've had two in not too terribly long. Got him. Oh. What in the world is that? He hit the hardest out of all of them. Should put him on a tip up. Actually might do that. We probably will do that. A pike or even a decent sized bass would absolutely love him. We will get that done, put him out there and see what happens. I don't know if I got the bigger one or the smaller one. We'll hope that was the smaller one, but it's likely probably the bigger one. Again, just this tiny little tungsten. I'm not even, sorry, not a tungsten. Tiny little lead jig head that barely falls at all with a wax worm. Oh my gosh, we got another one on that flag again. Oh. That's three in like 45 minutes. We know we want to get to this relatively quickly because we don't want to get all wrapped up in that tree. It must just be sitting in there. Start spinning. I might have just dropped it. Give it a second. Just dropped it. We'll see. Yeah, it's not there. Is the middle still there? Middle still there. Nope. Didn't take out too much, and it definitely wasn't the minnow because that minnow's not doing so great. Again, the same hole. Let's try to set up my last tip up. This one had already popped again. Oh, there she goes. Let me get into the tree. Oh, oh, I thought it go. It's not in the tree yet. Okay. Not a big one. Where's the hook? Oh, not too bad. We'll get that unhooked real quick and let that one go. All right. Let's go. Oh, there you go. And she's gone. Get another tip up set up. Uh, actually, we're probably done for the day because I think we only have a 
couple more minnows anyway and it's starting to get a little bit late so that'll probably actually be the end of today um not too bad a lot of small pan fish nothing great I caught a ton of them but probably won't uh, put most of them into the video because uh, i mean they were just tiny but um as far as the pike or the tip-ups go did pretty well they all came out of the exact same hole which is kind of weird um but it was obviously next to a tree because we wrapped up in it a couple of times so i guess as far as that goes it makes sense that they are you know relating next to structure but probably picking off some of those small bluegills but as always if you guys like the video if you wouldn't mind liking and if you want to see more videos like it if you wouldn't mind subscribing that'd be greatly appreciated also till the next one